nomenclature of saturated heterocyclic compounds. When nitrogen is one of the atoms in the cyclic structure, then it should have a prefix of aza. In this compound right here, we have three atoms in the ring structure, and one of those atoms is a nitrogen. Therefore, this should be called as aza cyclopropane. And we have totally four atoms in the ring structure, and therefore this should be cyclobutane, because one of the carbons has been replaced with nitrogen, and it's called as aza cyclobutane. On the next compound, we have five atoms in the ring structure, and therefore this should be aza cyclopentane. Here it would be aza cyclohexane. On this compound right here, we have a methyl group on the side chain. So in which case, this nitrogen should be assigned as one, okay? And you have to reach the substituent on the side chain with the shortest distance. So this would be two. And therefore this should be called as two methyl Aza cyclohexane. When you have substituents directly attached to the nitrogen, then you have to specify them with the N in the front. Let's see what would be the name for this compound. So we have one, two, three, four, five atoms in the ring structure. Therefore, this should be cyclopentane. And because one of the atoms is nitrogen, this is called as aza cyclopentane. And we do have an ethyl group that is directly attached to nitrogens. Therefore, this should be n ethyl aza cyclopentane. Here are some saturated heterocycles with the oxygen and sulfur heteroatoms. And they're also named similarly. A cyclic three-membered ring structure with oxygen as one of the atoms, it's generally called as oxidane ring. But when it comes to IUPAC, we are going to use the prefix oxa, like how we used aza in this case. So oxygen containing cyclic compounds should have a prefix of oxa. So the IUPAC name for this compound is oxa cyclopropane. And uh, coming to the next one, this is a tyrene ring. And uh, the IUPAC name for this is going to be thia cyclopropane. On the next structure, we have got four atoms. And therefore, this should be oxa cyclobutane. Here we have five, therefore this should be oxacyclopentane. Six on this, and therefore this should be oxacyclohexane. When you have two oxygens present in the ring structure, then you have to use the prefix of di and also give the position of the two oxygens. Say for example, here you can assign one of these oxygens to be number one, and the other oxygen with relation to this would be number four. So this should be called as 1, 4 dioxacyclohexane. The ones we just wrote down are IUPAC names, but these names right here, all of these are common names and should be memorized. When we compare the physical and chemical properties of these saturated heterocyclic amines, they're going to be pretty much same as that of the acyclic amines.